Hello everyone out there, all you space engineers. Uh, Commander Kingfish here and it is Mod Wednesday. Well today's mod is uh, TBH Industrial Batteries. Uh, again it's another mod by Wanzi. If you remember I did the industrial uh, containers and so now he's got uh, new batteries uh, which gives you a little bit different uh, look and uh, he's got uh, basically four different types of batteries well three different types he's got uh, the large industrial battery which would correspond to like a large cargo container and he's got the regular industrial battery small as he calls it uh, which is basically kind of the equivalent to a regular battery then he's got a capacitor uh, that uh, he has made and then he's got a small capacitor that you can use on small ships and whatnot now these these capacitors store power and they can be recharged uh, just to give you a little bit in comparison uh, the vanilla this is a small battery that you can use on a small ship or drone uh, you can also use uh, uh, a regular battery, which is a, comes in a small battery, uh, <coughs> which has uh, different capacities versus the large battery that you use on your normal basis. Now, one of the differences is on these batteries, and just a second here. Uh, so the features on the industrial battery is it takes uh, 840 uh, steel plates uh, if I'm reading that correctly at least let me see here uh, yeah so this is the large this is the regular industrial battery so it takes 840 steel plates 900 construction components uh, 750 computers and 2400 power cells so a lot of materials but your max output power output is 360 megawatts and you can store up to 90 uh, megawatt hours and uh, the, the dimensions are like a, a large cargo container so you may be using a lot more materials but you don't have to build hundreds or at least 10 or 20 different uh, batteries like this to get the equivalent of one so it gives you a little more options in, in what you're uh, building on your base and space wise likewise uh, the uh, small industrial battery and let me do something here real quick all right uh, so on the regular battery, uh, you have 100 steel plates. So if we go over here, actually, let me do this a little bit differently. You can see that it takes uh, actually the capacitor. Well, let me get to the capacitor first. Uh, I'm just reading off of his uh, workshop. Uh, so this takes 100 steel plates, 50 construction components, uh, it takes 20 superconductors, so it's a little bit more on what you have to get up to as far as needing materials. Uh, bulletproof glass, computers, and 40 power cells. But it gives you a max power output of 60 megawatts, and uh, it uh, can store up to 0.2 megawatt hours. So again, it gives you the ability to just have something a little bit different. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool actually. And then he's also got this same version in a small uh, industrial capacitor that will fit on a small uh, vehicle or small ship. And so that's really kind of the difference between these batteries. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, check them out. Uh, I think it'll add a lot uh, to your uh, building and kind of add some more interest in your base building and whatnot and they look kind of cool so that is uh 
PBH Industrial Batteries, and again, it's by Wanzi. Uh, I got the link down below to his workshop. Check it out. Uh, I think you'll uh, be impressed. All right, that's it for this week, Space Engineers. Keep building away out there. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, with that, uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.